Abalone. Abalone is an award-winning two-player abstract strategy board game designed by Michel Lallet and Laurent Levy in 1987. Players are represented by opposing black and white marbles on a hexagonal board with the objective of pushing six of the opponent's marbles off the edge of the board. The game is arranged similar to Chinese checkers but without starting spaces and with a moat around the edge of the board. Players start with 14 marbles instead of 10, there are only two colors, and the starting arrangement is different. But the game also uses a hexagon with marbles and five pits on each edge. Abalone was published in 1990 and has sold more than 4.5 million units. The year it was published it received one of the first Mensa Select Awards in New York, New York. It is currently sold in more than 30 countries. The board consists of 61 circular spaces arranged in a hexagon, five on a side. Each player has 14 marbles that rest in the spaces and are initially arranged as hound below, on the left image. The players take turns with the black marbles moving first. For each move, a player moves a straight line of one, two or three marbles of one color one space in one of six directions. The move can be either broadside, arrow-like or in line slash in a line, as illustrated below. A player can push their opponent's marbles that are in a line to their own with an inline move only. They can only push if the pushing line has more marbles than the pushed line. Marbles must be pushed to an empty space or off the board. The winner is the first player to push six of the opponent's marbles off of the edge of the board. The notation for recording moves gives the letters AI to the horizontal lines, and the numbers 1 to 9 to northwest southeast diagonals. One popular notation in inline move can be denoted by the movement of the trailing marble. Broadside moves can be denoted by the initial positions of the two extremities of the lance followed by the final position of the first marble. The dynamics of the basic game may have one serious flaw. It seems that a good but conservative player can set up his or her marbles in a defensive wedge and ward off all attacks indefinitely. An attacker may try to outflank this wedge or lure it into traps, but such advances are often more dangerous to the attacker than the defender. Thus, from the starting position, it takes little skill and no imagination to avoid losing, and nothing in the rules prevents games from being interminable. Because it is boring for games to be drawn out indefinitely. Serious abalone players tacitly agree to play aggressively. A player who forms a defensive wedge and makes no attempt to attack is likely to be a novice who might lose anyway. Nevertheless, there remains the possibility of any competent player bringing the game to a standstill and successfully avoiding losing, even to a championship level player. There are several possible solutions. First, in tournaments, a judge may penalize a player for playing defensively. This solution is somewhat unsatisfactory given that a judge may not always be present, and that defensive play is subjective. Second, several variations of the rules have been developed for the same board and marbles. None of the variations has the same appealing simplicity of the original. The third, and perhaps best, alternative starting positions have been designed to make the formation of stalemate wedges less likely. Experiments are still underway to find an opening position which neither devolves to a draw nor gives too great an advantage to the first player. One popular attempt are the Marguerite or Daisy positions, two versions of which are displayed in the center and to the right. Another option is to create a turn limit where if no marble has been knocked off the board by turn 15, whoever has made the most progress towards the center line wins. This encourages an aggressive strategy of moving forward and often the rule will not come into play. Abalone can be played by three or more people using the same board with fewer marbles for each player and each player has a different color. A number of two-player variations use a third color for passive pieces. For example, the variation called the Pillar, which has been examined to some depth by Alex Borello and Nicolas Legal, uses a third color. Another possible variation involves either player winning the game by ejecting the central marble. A few variations use a second layer of marbles. Forums of abalone communities have found that, generally, person-to-person -person competitions have been held by the Mind Sports Olympiad since 1997. Gert Schneida and Thomas Fenner participated in the evaluation and adjustment of Abapro. Mark Tostit was the 1992 World Othello champion, Stefan Nicolet is a two-time World Othello championship finalist, and Jan Stasna is a strong Othello player. In a computer-to-computer -computer competition held in 2003 at the International Computer Games Association events in Graz, Austria, the ABAPRO program defeated the NAKER program. In 1999, a number of top players from the Mind Sports Olympiad signed an agreement to use a different starting position to revitalize the game. 
This has been used for top tournaments since then, including the ABBA Cup. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.